In our previous tutorial, we looked at how to find and replace all values in a range in Google Sheets using Google Apps Scripts. So here's the, uh, the code from the previous tutorial here. You can select run and it will replace Koala with goat, as you can see on the left hand side here. Now you can see the colors change. It's just me using some conditional formatting to make it easy for you to see the changes. In this tutorial, we want to just change perhaps the first value or the first set of values that we find with our replace text or the last value or the last set of values with our replace text. So let's dive in and learn about that. Now you can grab a copy of the starter sheet in the description below, and that will have this original find and replace code for you to copy and paste and make some amendments here. So we're not doing too much clicky clacking. Okay, so let's make a new function down the bottom here. And let's call it find and replace underscore first. So we want to find and replace just the first search item that appears. Cool. So pretty much everything is going to remain the same as our original find all text uh, for all our constant variables. So let's go ahead and select all those. And we're going to paste those in here. Make life a little bit easier for ourselves. Instead of just putting in the range and uh, running a replace with all like we did here with our create text finder, we're just going to create a variable for our text finder. So let's go const text finder equals range create text finder search text. And I'll explain why we're doing this in a moment. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is then call our text finder and we're going to find next. And this is going to find the next item in the list. And Google Apps Scripts will remember what the next item is. So the first time we call find next is going to be the first found item of our search text, which is going to be this item up here in A3. Now, if we built this into our text finder and just chain this on find next on the end here, then we wouldn't be able to do any further chaining with it and finding the consecutive next items. Okay, so once we found the next item, then we can replace that item with our replace text. So to do that, we go text finder, replace with, now note here it's different to replace all with, and then we just put in our replace text. And we're done. Okay, so this will replace the first item, this koala up here. Let's go ahead and save, and then make sure that we're on the right function to run, which is going to be this one here, and select run. And you can see koala has now been replaced with goat. Awesome. Now, to just replace the one at the very bottom, it's a very simple modification. So let's just copy this code, this function here, go down, make a new function, and we'll say find and replace last. And instead of find next, we replace it with find previous. And then make sure we go up here and find and replace last, hit save, and then run. Awesome. So this means our find previous starts its search from the bottom of the range and moves its way up to the top. So let's just undo this. What about if we want to replace the first, maybe one, two, three koalas, or replace the last two koalas? Let's uh, update our function to handle that. So let's grab this uh, find and replace first again, and then we'll just go down and create a new function here. We'll just rename this to find and replace first nth items or items here. And then we need to add in how many items or how many found items we want to replace. So we'll make a constant variable, call that the number. And let's say we want to replace the first three. Cool. So what we can do now is create a loop and iterate through it three times, finding the next item and then replacing that item. So let's build a simple for loop. So let i equal zero. 
and i is going to be well it will stop when it's less than the number and then we want to add one to our i each time so i plus plus add some curly braces a bit of spacing in there let's go ahead and just copy this so control x and like that in here control v maybe tab it in a bit you can use alt arrow too to move it up if you like as well okay let's see how our code runs now we'll hit control s to save and now we should find one two three koalas and replace them with three goats we'll select our find and replace first nth items Cool, and you can see each one changes consecutively. Now processing is of course going to be a lot slower using this approach because it goes and checks the, the next item and then replaces it, checks the next item and replaces it. I've got a bit of a treatise on this in a written tutorial that you can find in the description below if you want to learn about performance over large data sets. But for now, we're happy with running it this way. Okay, so let's just do it from the bottom. See if you can create the same script but using it from the previous let's go ahead and just replace the last two values so i'm just going to control z control z control z to get everything back to normal and i'm going to go down the bottom pause it maybe now and see if you can just make that amendment it should be really simple i'm going to go up here and we'll say last nth items and then did you figure it out yeah down here we're going to say find previous. Cool. So let's go off and make a change. Change our function to the last nth items. Hit save and run. And I think I said the last three. Oh no, he didn't. So that's the last three there. Let's say I want to just do the last two. And run. And it does the last two. That's it for finding and replacing the first and last items in a Google Sheet using Google Apps Script. In the next tutorial, we're going to get a little bit more tricky and start working with regular expressions. And we're going to have a search text item, for example, koala, and each cell might have more words or characters in that cell, but we want to replace the cell entirely with our replace text. So join me with that one in the next tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time.